Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 24th through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all up, see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, followed then by the Ten of Cups reversed. And next we have the Four of Swords reversed, followed then by the Two of Pentacles in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hanged Man in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, Aquarius, you have that of the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Seven of Swords upright, this can represent the sneak thief, the, somebody who's trying to avoid a situation, not deal with it. Could have been someone in your environment, could have even been you. Maybe you're not wanting to deal with the situation, you're trying to avoid something. Could be something unpleasant or something you're just putting off and not wanting to deal with. When it's in the upright position, this can, like I said, represent somebody doing the avoidance thing or uh, someone sneaking off, uh, stealing your peace of mind, stealing your um, your thoughts, your ideas or what have you, or stealing your possessions. When the card is inverted, <laughs> um, this is good news because if that did happen where perhaps somebody did take some of your belongings, it looks like the thief has been caught and... Um, your belongings could be returned to you, that kind of thing. Uh, if someone has uh, <laughs> stolen your peace of mind, maybe you have, have restored your peace of mind. For others of you, it just basically represents you're no longer avoiding a situation or a situation or a person is no longer avoiding you. Sometimes this can come up when we just, it could even be a relative or a friend who's trying to contact you, for example, and you just, um, you know, you're just trying to go in the other direction. Maybe you don't really want to hook up with this friend again or something like that. You're just trying to avoid them. But here it is. You're facing the situation head on. You are no longer avoiding it. Okay, coming right off the hop, we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse position. Ten of Cups upright. This can represent fulfillment, emotional. It's it's a, a, ho a home card. So it can be connected to home and family. When it's in the upright position, this is where peace and love and emotion are a flow. And we're feeling really good emotional abundance, you know, on the highest level when the card is in the upright position. When the card is reversed, however, it can point down back to the nine of cups in the upright, which is the wish card. Not too bad energy. Also, too, though, the Ten of Cups in reverse, because it is uh, associated with family and home, can represent that there's something going on in the family or uh, uh, in the home that could be maybe a little bit upsetting to Aquarius, maybe. There's somebody is acting up in the household, or it could be that there's something going wrong, or the house itself, maybe there's some uh, repairs that need to be done or things. Just sort of turning your your world upside down, but it's nothing on a major, major level. It just could be for some of you just a petty annoyance. And for others, if you, like I said, it could be that you're looking for that ultimate emotional fulfillment, but you're, you're reaching the nine of cups, which is the wish card. Maybe a small wish is coming true for some of you guys. Now it's paired up with the four of wands in the reverse position, which is very similar uh, energy to the Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is where, again, this is associated with, you know, home and family. When the card is reversed like this, again, this could point to perhaps there's something upsetting going on in the household or uh, with a family member or something like that. And it's sort of taking a little bit of the joy out of it. But the four of wands in the upright position this is such a beautiful energy that even reverse it still holds much of the same meaning like i said the first two cards are reversed but it doesn't look like it's anything drastic or major going on it could just be like i said representing a minor upset now moving on towards the weekend we have the energy of two of pentacles in the upright position two of pentacles is this is you guys being able to juggle handle a couple of situations going on at the same time if you are dealing with say home repairs or things like that it seems like you know this is harmony in the midst of change so whatever is going on in the household you're adapting to it you're dealing with it uh just fine you're doing actually a really good job for others of you it could be representing uh balancing your checkbook uh finances maybe being able to uh, wheel and deal some financial uh, dealings and, and getting everything rolling 
nicely. You, you see that he's not really struggling. He's juggling the two pentacles uh, quite joyfully. <laughs> Now, the last card you have up is Major Arcana, the Hanged Man in the reverse position. A hanged Man in the upright, this is sort of a stalemate. This is where we need to sort of take a step back and look at a situation from a different perspective. When the card is inverted like this, this is where we're, we're done doing that, we're done waiting. Sometimes the Hanged Man position in the upright can be when we have to wait. We're being put on hold or put on pause because the people we're dealing with are not ready to deal with us just yet. But now, you know, there's no more avoiding a situation, whether that's on the part of someone else or your part. So now there's a spring back into action again. So the uh, hangman is in reverse, indicating you're no longer having to wait on a situation or having to wait for things to turn around. Looks like they do a quick turnaround towards the end of the week. So that is your reading, Aquarius. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye for now.